Alright, hello guys, I hope you enjoyed that new intro, that's going to be the springtime intro, obviously I can't have snow in the intro forever, so now we're moving on to more of a rainy, stormy look for the intro, so let me know what you thought about the new intro, or if you would prefer a different type of music or anything, I didn't change the music at all, so I will take new suggestions going into the summer intro, as we're going to change it again, most likely, to something else. Now, we're going to get right into this video, we're going to be talking about a strong coastal system that's going to be affecting the southeastern states, the mid-Atlantic states, and also the northeast and New England states. Uh, all the coastal areas and a lot of areas inland up there uh, in the north. We're going to get right into that. We're looking at the GFS right around now, and you can see there's some showers for Virginia and North Carolina going on in the coastal areas. This is where I'm from, and I can confirm it is uh, quite rainy and quite uh, drizzly out there. A uh, little bit windy, not too bad, though. Now, we're going to move on to 12Z tomorrow, and things should be getting a little bit rainier and a little bit stormier in general. We're going to have a low-pressure system located directly over us. D.C., we're getting rain, Maryland, Delaware, New Jersey, and eastern Pennsylvania by this point. This is going to be tomorrow morning, by the way. We're going to move on to Friday morning, and you can see that low pressure has moved on into... Uh, the, the southern New England states, and it's over Rhode Island and Connecticut and Massachusetts by this point as a 993 low-pressure system. That's quite a strong low-pressure system, uh, and it's going to lead to a lot of rain and storminess there, as this is going to be one of the stronger low-pressure systems we've had this season so far. And you, you can see upstate New York, coastal, or sorry, eastern Pennsylvania is still getting some of those showers. Maine is getting some of that heavier precipitation as well as Massachusetts, New Hampshire, and Vermont. We're going to move on again to 12Z Saturday, and you can see a lot of that back-end snow uh, is going to show up for Maine, Vermont, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, and upstate New York. Some of that is heavy in Vermont and upstate New York, I might add. Uh, we're going to get into the snowfall total at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but really, we're going to see that cool down happen from when we transition from Friday to Saturday. And that's when the snow is going to start somewhere in between that time frame. And then you can see by Sunday night, everything is moving out. There's some snow showers lingering for Maine and New Hampshire and Vermont, but really uh, nothing else notable besides the cold that's going to be in place by this point. Now, here's your rainfall total. Now, when it starts to turn blue, that's where you're at half an inch of rain. So if you're in that deep color of blue or above, you're at an half an inch of rain or more, and that's what I would consider a lot of rain. That, that That's when the ground should be quite soaked. So you're going to, in all the blue areas, notice the rain, and it's, it's really going to affect uh, the outdoors in general around you. Now, as we move on to kind of the, the lighter colors of blue, that's where we're looking at about an inch of rain, and that's really a lot of rain. Uh, and then we see that kind of pink color. That's where we're at two inches of rain. And again, that's a lot of rain. So it looks like that looks the setup near D.C., Maryland, and Pennsylvania, and as well as some portions of Maine uh, where the low pressure system is going to kind of linger up there for quite a while. So that's not very surprising. A lot of heavy precipitation moving on shore just west or just east of the low pressure system. So not surprising at all. Uh, and some areas could get more than two inches of rain. They could get even three inches uh, within these pink regions. Now we're going to move on to our snowfall forecast according to this model as well. You can see all of our areas kind of in that blue is where we're getting a dusting. But as it moves into kind of that lighter, lighter shade of blue, that's where we're looking at two or even three inches of snow. And then once we get into the purple color, that's where we're looking at four inches to six inches. And then the pink color is six inches plus, maybe six to ten inches in a lot of those areas. You can see upstate New York, uh, some of the mountainous regions of Vermont, and as well as the White Mountains of New Hampshire and northern, northern Maine, uh, very far interior Maine. Those are all the areas that look to get possibly six inches plus. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this forecast video for this storm that's coming up. Stay safe during it. There's going to be a lot of rain and a lot of snow for some of you uh, and possibly a lot of wind for some of you as well. So just stay safe and ride this one out. All of us on the East Coast will have to endure this storm together. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a great day, and I hope to see you in the next video as well.